Hey y'all! Ask me why I'm ask me why I'm hype. Anybody wanna ask me? Anybody wanna ask me? Anybody wanna ask me? Alright, no, but I'm hype just because it's a new day and she's wide awake and I'm pumped. But no, if you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Also, like my channel if you like any of my videos that I'm posting. Please uh, like it. If you have anything that you want to say off your mind, <laughs> say whatever you want to say because I'm hashtag no filter. So you can do the same and I will not at all get offended at, at, from any comments that you say. Um, as well as share my videos, y'all. Share my video. I am a newbie to this YouTube channel, um, but share my videos. All right, so let me dive in, y'all. So look, you know I'm dramatic, right? It's cool. If you watch my videos, you know I'm dramatic. Now, I'm so over people, some people, because I won't say all, because it's not everybody, because I ain't running to everybody in the world. But I'm so over people equating singleness as long, long as being lonely, or equating singleness as loneliness. When people ask me, like, oh, well, what is your, like, are you in a relationship, or are you dating, or are you single? I'm like, oh, I'm single. And typically, you know, I'm smiling or whatever. And they be like, oh, well, girl, you lonely. Skirt, why you got to think that I'm lonely? Because I'm single. And, and furthermore, did I tell you that I was lonely? No, I did not. So why you got to be thinking that I'm lonely? So, um, no. So that bothers me because it's like, why do people have such a negative mind frame or a mindset about being single? And that gets on my last nerves. Like, just because I'm single does not mean that I'm lonely. Number one, I think being single is dope. I really, truly do. I think single's being dope. And why do people always glorify relationships and put down people or put down singleness? And as if being single is such a bad thing. And as if being in a relationship is higher up than being single. I don't understand it. Can anybody help me that? Like, anybody that listens to my videos, can anybody, especially this particular video, can anybody explain to me why do people glorify a relationship or it appears as a relationship is higher than somebody who is who is single? Like, I don't understand it. And number two, why do people equate single, being single as loneliness? Like, I never said I was lonely, baby. Like, who ever gave you that thought? Or who, why do you people even think about that? Like, y'all messing up my words because I'm just so irritated and I'm so annoyed. Because people always say it. And I hear it all the time. So if y'all single people ever heard it, let me know. Comment below. Like, oh my God, I heard the same thing too, Brady. Because you know, that just bothers my soul. Let me know if it bothers your soul just as much as it bothers my soul. All right? Let me know. So that just really annoyed me though. Like, that annoys me a lot. Um, and... Also, let's be very, very clear. People who are in relationships are still single. Biblically, you are still single. You are not single when you are married. And that's just the truth, right? If we look on documentation and stuff like that, what does it say? Are you single? Are you married? Are you divorced? Or are you a widow? It does not say, are you single? Are you in a relationship? Are you married? It does not say that. I mean, I'm I'm pro I'm team relationships, you know, whatever, because eventually I want one. But I'm just saying that no. It just I think it bothers me though that people always like down the front being single. Like single being single is such a bad thing. And let me tell y'all, it's not at all. And I think the reason why I say it is because first and foremost, I feel like everybody should go through a point in their life where they have experience being single. And when I mean single, I mean just dating yourself. Throughout my whole undergraduate years, I dated myself. I really truly did. While some of my friends in my circle was in relationships, some of my friends were like dating um, people, like doing different things. But I myself, I really took the time out to really, 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 really get to know me. And I'm saying get to know me in every aspect. Um, there is to get to know me. So that was four years in undergrad while I took that time to really get to know Brittany. Who is Brittany? What does Brittany like? What do Brittany don't like? What gets underneath her soul? Like, how can she grow spiritually? 
I, I really was trying to focus on my academics. I was really trying to focus on help. I was really just trying to get to know I, like just really strongly get to know me. Um, I even have, like I even took like different, um, you know, like different quizzes and like tests that they have. And it's just like simple get to know you questions like what is your favorite color? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite artist? Um, what do you like to do for fun? What is one of your pet peeves? Like just took a list, like it was like a hundred questionnaire and I just took it. And it was all about me because I really wanted to really get to know me. Like I never ever wanted somebody to know so much about me that I don't even know about me. Um, so I really took the time to really date myself. And I think that's to me, that's what my singleness was all about. Taking time to date myself, tune out the world, tune out um anybody and just really get to know me and not focus my energy into somebody else. I wanted to make sure that I I am um uh, mentally stable and mentally grounded um uh, and mature to to really really date and to really like handle emotions because coming with dating comes with a lot of different emotions that you feel that you probably ever never felt in your life ever. Um, so I just wanted to make sure as a person that I was able to handle uh, or that I couldn't be able to handle different emotions that comes with dating. And also in my undergraduate years, I just, for myself, I just felt like I was young. So because I was young, while I have life, um, to like, you know, wanted to get in a relationship and stuff like that. And so I just really wanted to get to know myself as a person. Um, I was young. I was my first time. I'm not going a, like. I wouldn't say necessarily going away from home, but just really like, you know, you in college, you know, being on your own, you don't have your mom or your dad right there trying to handle and do everything for you. So I, in my undergraduate years, I took the time out to date as individuals to take out the time to get to know you because it's like, how can you get to know someone else when you don't even really know you? And that's where my mind frame was really, really coming from in my undergraduate years. And also I wasn't necessarily really like into like dating. I think I, I had that mentality when I was younger. Like I don't really care about nobody else and I just care about me. Like I was a average 17 year old, 18 year old cause I went to college at 17. So I was average 17 year old like, oh, like I'm not worrying about nobody. I'm just worrying about me. Like I'm gonna do me all day, every day. And I don't wanna, you know, have nobody to like in, in like in bed or coming to um what I'm so accustomed to um and now that you know I am an adult and stuff like that and that I'm in the space of you know want to date and stuff like that I'll be able to you know date and handle different emotions um with people and just handle different people on different levels or whatnot but when I was like 17 18 19 no I wasn't, I wasn't in that space. So I just think that it's just really important to really, really get to know yourself before diving into that whole dating space. Um, and even for those individuals who have all, always been in relationships and you haven't yet had the opportunity to date yourself, date you. Because let me tell you, there are so many different things that I learned about myself. That... So yeah, I just said, um, date yourself. If you have not yet had the experience, it's such an awesome experience to really date yourself. Um, I had, I did have when I was when I was in the time of really dating myself, and and now technically I am, but I'm open to dating. Um, compared to when I was younger, I necessarily wasn't really looking or wanting. Like people came to me, people wanted to talk to me, people wanted to date me, but I just wasn't in that space to want to date anybody. And I personally felt like if I couldn't give you like me. Or all of me, then I didn't want to date you. And if I was unsure about um, a lot of different avenues or aspects in my life, I just didn't want to invest my time and energy into somebody else. Like, why? For me, at that particular age, why? I didn't want to invest my time in somebody else, and I could be investing my time into myself. And I think that's the great thing about being single. So, for any of it, for any individual who have not yet ever experienced dating yourself, date yourself. Date yourself and being singleness does not mean that you are lonely. Do you have lonely times? Maybe you may have moments where you like, oh my God, like I'm lonely and stuff like that or whatever. Um, but I feel like even in relationships, you can have times where you are lonely. 
So I don't feel like just because I'm connected with someone or because I'm in a relationship with someone does not necessarily mean that I'm ever going to experience being lonely. Um, so I would just say, just take the time out to really, really date yourself, um, in every aspect of yourself and don't be afraid to date yourself and do, and do things like I take myself to the movies. Of course, I go to Walmart all the time because that's like my store or whatever because I always need stuff. Like I just do stuff. I just do stuff by myself because that's how I really get to know what I like and what I don't like. I can tell you a list of things that I don't like. I can tell you a list of things that I do like. And I can tell you things that I have not yet experienced and I'm looking forward to experience. Um, but don't wait to like whatever it is that you want to do while you're being, while you're single, do it. Because oftentimes I hear a lot of people like, oh, well, I'm going to wait to travel or I'm going to wait to, um, I don't know, go skydiving or something like that. It's like, why wait? Do it. Like, why, why do you got to wait on somebody else to do what it is that you want to do? Just do it. And it's going to be fun and it's going to be cool. Like you're going to have a good time. Um, so I just like to say being single is not lonely. Like I'm not lonely. Um, do people have moments? Yeah. Do have I had a moment? Probably. Do I remember? No. Did it probably, did I probably acknowledge it? Probably not. But being single is not a bad thing at all whatsoever. You should do it if you have not, if you have not done it at all. Um, because it's cool. Um, and I think that it's an, really an opportunity for you to dive deeper into yourself, um, more so and compared to diving deeper because we're always so quick to dive deep into everybody else and get to know everybody else. But how many times can you count on your fingers where you ask yourself, oh, Brittany, like, how do you feel about this? Or, oh, Brittany, what's your favorite color? Or, Brittany, what's your hobby now? Like, because things change as you get older and as you grow as a human being. Your likes changes, your dislike changes, what you want in a partner probably changes, what you said that you wanted when you was 20 versus now that you are older has changed. So it's like, that's why it's important to date yourself and really get to know yourself or what or whatnot. Because when you are going into or when you dive into that connection with individuals, you'll know right away. You'll, you'll definitely know certain things right away. Um, so date you.